Hi everyone, I'm Chef Bay, and I'm here with the lovely Hannah Bronfman. Hi. And we are gonna do an awesome cooking collab today, some crispy salmon spring rolls. And it's delicious. Recipe coming soon. So let's get started. I'm gonna be on salmon duty. I'm gonna cut these into one and a half inch cubes, roughly. And then do you wanna cut the I'm scallions? On, I'm on scallion duty, sounds great. It's gonna be two, three inch pieces. Okay. Without the ends, yeah. Are you a light scallion lover or an end scallion lover? You know what? It's so funny. I like all parts of the scallion, but I really do. Oops. I really do um, love the whites. Yeah, same. Honestly, we, they're a little bit more oniony, but we'll do some of the whites. Maybe we'll cut these in half to be a little bit thinner. So okay. Still so onion. Perfect. Um, so, how did you get into cooking? So I started in corporate product development. I did. Um, some products for Starbucks and Panera Bread and Nestle. Oh, wow. Um, worked for some meal delivery service companies, meal kits, um, and then went to culinary school uh, in a health supportive culinary arts program and started taking private clients. And I loved the private chefing world. Wait, oh, that's amazing. Doing health forward, health forward cooking. Oh, wow. So, so you've kind that. of seen all aspects of kind of commercialization of yeah. food in a lot of ways. And a lot of ways where um, when you have healthy food, but a large corporation, you know, a lot of it is how can we make the food cheaper and uh, make it still seem very healthy. So right. I wanted to completely know what was going in the food that I was making right. and have complete authority over it and started taking private clientele and, and loved it. I'm just gonna put a little salt and pepper on the salmon. So what about, I want to hear more about your journey. Um, your interest in food and cooking. Yeah. And so I guess my like original interest in food really started when I was in college. Um, my friends and I would always kind of host different dinners at each other's houses. Um, we went to a really small liberal arts school in upstate New York. We had access to all of these amazing farms and farmers. Um, and that's kind of what got me really interested in food systems and food safety and just learning more about where our food like, actually comes from. And I also started cooking a lot for myself during, during that time. Um, and then when I guess when I came back to New York, I was DJing and living a very like fast and furious lifestyle. And then um, kind of woke up one morning and like my skin was like terrible. My gut health was all out of whack. And I really did a full overhaul of my entire lifestyle and nutrition in order to like heal everything from the inside out. And that really put me on my whole journey to healthy living. I love that. Yeah. As cheesy as it, as it is, you are what you eat. 100%. Really, it makes you feel night and day when you put really good nutritious food into your body. Couldn't agree more. The best investment. Okay, we have, so we have our cube salmon, just salt and pepper our sliced scallions, and then we have a pan with medium heat. I'm just gonna spray um, some avocado oil. We're gonna lightly cook our salmon. Oh, nice pan. Yeah, I have a feeling we're gonna like this pan. <laughs> so I just cook these for a few minutes on each side, just to get them a nice medium well, because we're gonna cook them again into our summer rolls. These look Amazing. By the way, so fast. Nuggets. So fast. The best is you can you also um, skewer salmon and do a little salmon mm -hmm. kebab. Mm -hmm. So fun. So I'm gonna put in our uh, shredded broccoli slaw, cabbage, and carrots just to get it a little bit cooked before we put it into our spring rolls. I keep saying spring and summer rolls, honestly, but I feel like it's almost like people, a mix of both. Yeah, because, it's kind of a mix of both. Because aren't summer rolls really on the raw side. Yeah, those are just using these same summer roll papers. Right. And then you just don't fry them, but the spring rolls are fried. So right. it's kind of a mix. But also like the I feel like the the interior of the spring roll is usually more on the cook side and the interior on the summer roll is like really like about fresh, vibrant, like raw foods. Yeah, exactly. Right? Let's right. call it the Chef Bay and a Bronfin roll. I love it. The Chef the Bay and H B roll. I love it. So our cabbage mixture is just par cooked, just with a little bit of the oil left from the salmon, some salt and pepper, really simple. And we will take it off and put it back into our bowl. This way, so you can see. 
If you want to save these green tops for like a little bit of a topping moment. Yeah, we can, uh, we can put them with sesame seeds on, on top. Like, with all that. Go ahead and cut one of the avocados. I got three today, praying that one of them was uh, was good. So we'll I know, see. the New York produce is I not like over. New York. You knocked over I, the whole thing. I knocked over all the avocados <laughs> in the fairway market this morning because the good ones were on the bottom. Are they generally on the bottom? Or are you just the ones that like around? touched? Yeah, the, all that the green ones are on top. This is good. You have avocado luck. This is a good sign. Oh, I peel my avocados the same way. I love it. Okay. Okay, now we get to assembly time. So we'll take our little spring slash summer rice paper rice situation. Paper rolls. Okay, so when you're doing this, how like wet do you want it to become? Like you want it to be pretty malleable, right? Yeah, just so it's malleable because it's gonna get. Oh, the water not like cold. No, this is actually the perfect time. Is it? For okay. It. Yeah. Okay, I okay. want to see you assemble it first, and then I'll kind of understand what we're what we're doing. We'll get the prettiest one on camera. So just a little bit of the slaw, and then a piece of our medium salmon. A little spread on here. And then a nice slice of avocado. I love avocado. Me too. And then maybe two slices of our um, scallion. A little sprinkle of sesame seeds. This they get looks, nice and toasty. This looks banging. Super yum. I hope everyone tries this. And then you fold in. The folding is really where I want to excel. Fold. <laughs> and the prettier you make them on the bottom, I actually wasn't thinking about this, the better it'll look after. So maybe we'll start with the the avocado and well, stuff on them. It and still then, looks really, it still looks very pretty. It'll be pretty, but we'll make, uh, well, yeah, it'll still be pretty. Yeah. And when it's nice and crispy and fried. Okay, and so then we're going to put them there and then, and then we'll do it all at once on the stove. Yeah. Also, this is really uncomfortable. Oh, it's so everyone, you could do this at home in 10 minutes. Your kids can help you do it. Totally. It's such a great way to get in veggies. And it's honestly a complete meal. It's fat, fiber, healthy protein. Hi. Hi, P. What are we making, P? We're having salmon and avocado. Some of your favorite things. Kellen, it is so pretty. Did you grow I up in California? It. Um, I grew up in Western Massachusetts. Oh. So that's really my... So you're a Northeastern girl. I am. I'm a mass hole. <laughs> um, my, so my grandma was a great cook, but, or my great grandma, but um, adjacent to my town of Longmeadow, there was a really high food insecurity rate. So about 30% of children and families didn't know when their next... Oh, wow. meals were going to come. Honestly, they lived on school, sub. they still do live on school subsidized lunches, food stamps, fast food. So that oh, wow. seeing that was so devastating to me that um, maybe at 11 or 12, I would have bake sales and anything I made in those bake sales would go to healthy kids cooking classes that oh, I would wow. do. That's amazing. And I, that's really what, I mean, for me, healthy food should just be a right for everyone and not yeah. just a privilege. Yeah. Preston loves salmon. It is the best. I have this, another recipe I'll share with you where you marinate it in um, mango juice and pineapple juice. Oh, it sounds amazing. And it's so good. And you do this rub with brown sugar and chili powder. Oh, wow. That sounds incredible. And it's, uh, it's really good. Ta-da. So we have our rolls with our salmon, our cabbage and broccoli stem slaw, some carrot, avocado, some scallion, and some sesame seeds. And we rolled them up nicely, and now we're gonna lightly pan fry them to get them crispy. I am so excited for this. This is so fun and easy. This is such a good, like, um, food to make with your family and your kids. It's so fun. Yeah, exactly. Get your kids in the kitchen. Yeah. I love it. This is a staple for me. At least once a month, I make these. That's oh, cute roll yes. too. Are you getting a? Oh yeah. Yeah, just so it's nice and crispy and brown. So two minutes maybe on each side. Okay. It's almost there. 
amazing. And it'll cook the salmon a little bit more, but if you like a medium salmon, then you can honestly put it in here raw and you'll get a perfect Oh, medium. amazing. Yeah. Yum. Oh my God. Oh, so good. Some chef's kiss. Rolls on the I had like never thought to make these either, so I feel like this is such a good. They look so impressive to make with your guests. Yeah. Salty, you can pair it with your favorite sauce, a teriyaki sauce, a peanut sauce. But I'm shook. So this good. is like better than takeout. Salt, pepper, six ingredients. Mm. You have to try these. Yum. Look, Chef Bay, you did it again. Thank you, thank you, Chef. Thank you. Well, you're a chef yourself, so. Nice to do uh, yeah. I love it. This was literally, this is going to be my new go-to. The CBHB Summer Roll Spring Roll. Okay. <laughs>